And we saw Cho expend a lot of energy in that first round, throwing big, big shots. We'll see if that kind of hurts him, if his energy is expended a little bit more than it might have been otherwise. Back this try from Cho. But he takes a right hand as he spins around the other way. Cho's throwing hard, but he's composed. He's picking when he is throwing hard. And it seems like this is kind of his style if that was what he was doing with boxing. Oh, lost his footing. Bernard coming forward. Cho trying to back him off with some leg kicks. That left hand is hanging low on Cho. I'd like to see Bernard bring a right kick up high. And the mouth open for Cho as well. He was loading up so heavily in that first round. No surprise that he may be just a tiny bit gassed here in round two. Bernard gaining some traction here. Now Cho trying to reassert himself. In the neutral corner, Chris Wagner breaks him up. Bernard seems to have the strength advantage in the clinch, but both these guys a little bit more grappling than uh, you know really going for the plumb in a traditional tie clinch. Brandon Bernard. Again, hasn't fought since 2015. This is just his second fight overall. Andrew Cho in his debut. And he does land a big shot there on his heels. Bernard answered back and threw a nice, timed, hard, straight right hand. Good way to end the round. I think these guys got it one and one going yeah. into the third. I happen to agree with you, Mike Chirico. And welcome once again, everybody. You're watching Friday Night Fights from the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. Ariel Agami sitting alongside the machine himself, Mike Chirico. A nice leg chick there, and another one, and a nice return. And, and Andrew Cho ducked right into that body kick, too. Yeah, and that's the problem when you're boxing and you're trying to lean off to the sides. It's not like boxing because when you're moving laterally, you're walking right into those kicks in Muay Thai. And Cho has really been relying on the leather for much of this fight. Yep. Served He's it well in the away. first round. Yep. Almost landed that spinning back fist. But Bernard's been pretty disciplined, keeping his hands up. Seems like a little bit more of the polished, composed fighter. And uh, this, that might be the edge going into the third round. So here we go. It's all on the line here. Andrew Cho and Brandon Bernard. A little combo up top for Bernard with the leather. Backs Cho up. Cho tried to catch the leg, but you can pretty much only take one step forward while holding on to the opponent, and that's it. You got to make a move, and Cho did not. So Chris Wagner, our referee, had a warning, and here's Bernard. Falling on top of Cho, and that is not the preferred way to execute a dump either. I like to see Bernard create some distance and set up that straight right. It's finding a home, and it's beating, it's beating Cho to the punch when he's throwing wild like that. But sometimes it's tough when you're in a fist fight and like that in a firefight, you're just throwing just as hard back. And Andrew Cho tried a back fist there. And by the time he got all the way around, Bernard had thrown three or four punches to the body. And a good dump there. Bernard kind of seizing control here, Mike. Last round and a half or so. If he's able to keep his composure and keep those punches long and straight like he's doing, I think he's going to pull away with it. And another good dump. Brandon Bernard from Bud Lake, New Jersey. Going up against a fellow citizen from the Garden State. But no love loss here between Bernard and Cho. And Cho seems to have lost his footing. It's a little wobbly, definitely tired. Let's see if Bernard could pull this away. He's moving forward. Eats one. Cho loading up again, reaching down. Good counter. Bernard has an answer. And these guys are throwing leather. Ton of action so far. Expect nothing less on Friday night fights. As we go the distance, That's Joe tough. and Bernard go all three. Well deserved round of applause. Exciting fight. Exciting fight. I think the composure of Bernard had him pulled away in the third round. 
So Andrew Cho upset with himself as he goes back to the blue corner to speak with his coach. Fits to his own. Out of the fight lab in Cliffside Park, New Jersey. And on the other side, Brandon Bernard representing Pure MMA in Rockaway. Trains with Tommy Espinoza and Andy Main, and it was Bernard just looking like the physically stronger man in that third round. There was that back fist, had kind of a hitch in his giddy up there for a moment, did show, and by the time he completed the move, Bernard had kind of established his combination and just kept plowing forward into the neutral corner. Yeah, you, you could tell Bernard didn't like that too much and, and came after and made him pay after that. So two guys with not a ton of experience, but a whole lot of heart. It's up to the judges to decide. Exciting fight. These guys definitely put on a show for their first go. Connor, Connor Hall has the scorecards in hand. Let's find out who our winner is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have a winner. We're going to the judges' scorecards for it. Judges A, B, and C all see this fight 29-28 for a winner by unanimous decision. Brandon Bernard. So Andrew Cho comes out of the corner throwing haymakers in his debut. Mike Chirin 